Our first guest tonight is a Grammy Award-winning musician, multi-platinum recording artist, and actor. He stars in X, which is in theaters nationwide this Friday, March 18th. Let's take a look. Sorry about you, man, but my van broke down on the highway back yonder, and I was hoping I could use y'all's phone to call for help. Oh, my goodness. I'm afraid we don't own a telephone, but... My daddy will be home soon, and I'm sure he could give you a lift to town. Would you like to come inside? Much obliged. And please welcome to the show, Kid Cuddy, everybody! What's good? Um, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> They're very happy you're here. I'm very happy you're here. I do, that's a fantastic clip, but I feel like what we showed just makes it look like an adult film from the 70s. Exactly. But this is a horror film about making an adult film in the 70s that then a lot of stuff goes wrong. Yeah, it gets And it looks wild. beautiful. It, like, is a, it's so fun to watch a sort of period piece that's also a horror film, and it just looks great, the whole film. Yeah, Ty is just a genius, and he had a vision, and, and you know, um, as soon as I got this email about this project, I jumped at the opportunity, you know? It, uh, it has a great location for a horror movie, which I think is such a key to it. It's like yeah. sort of an old, rundown farm. Obviously, when you're filming a horror movie, it's not as scary as watching it, but are you watch as you're making it, do you think, oh, this is gonna freak people out when they see it? Yeah, like, I, I, every so often you have a project that you're working on and you feel while you're in it that you're making something special. And I really felt that with this movie, you know? And there were some scenes, that it, did, it wasn't like scary for me, because I, 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 this is my first horror movie, so I don't know how it is. Um, but I, I wasn't really scared, but it was this one scene where we were out in the woods and it was like late at night, it was like one in the morning. And I was like, ooh, this is cool. Like, I'm doing like a classic horror movie <laughs> yeah. scene. I'm like in the woods, it's creepy. I'm walking by myself, anything could happen, anything could happen. Uh, you know, but it was, it was exciting because like I'm a huge horror fan. So, and you started watching them very young. Very young, man. So my how first, old were you when you started watching? I think my first, my first horror movie was seven years old. Okay. But I had older siblings because like That's they, they you, were always yeah. playing stuff and I would be curious to see what they were watching. And, but I think my first horror movie that I ever watched was Night of the Living Dead and then Evil Dead and then Freddy Krueger, like they were all around the same time. And were you someone who, were you the kind of kid who then had nightmares or did you just have the joy of horror? Was it just entertainment? I had nightmares. I I enjoyed being scared. Yeah. You know, like, you know, I, I don't know. It was just something about it. You know, it's 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 just like I guess why people like to get on roller coasters. Yeah. You know, it's just like uh, you like putting yourself through the through the thrill of being scared. And know? now you're a father as well. Yes. Um, uh, do you let your child? There you go. She's old. How old is how old is your daughter? My daughter will be twelve in a couple weeks. All right. And now, were you protective of her? No horror movies for her. Do you? No. Oh, see, see. Here's the thing, Seth. Okay, I'm very excited about this. When I had my child, uh huh. I thought about all the things I could mold her to be. You know? <laughs> like video games, for example. Okay. I wanted her to be a gamer. Oh, so, interesting. Like I put like all these Mario Kart decorations in her room, <laughs> and, like. Strategically, so she would be a gamer. Gotcha. And so I feel like movies... that's not a thing you have to push kids towards. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I was just like worried maybe she might not be into it, so right, I wanted right. to make sure. Right, that, right, you, lock you know it in. Saying? Yep. Because like I want to play Call of Duty Zombies with someone. You know what <laughs> <That's> I <mean? laughs> so I had her watching uh, horror movies when she was eight. She she was really curious, and I was like, okay, I think you're old enough to watch something. Uh -huh. Right. So I think it came out at that time. Okay. And. <laughs> Wait, they said what? it. They say it. <laughs> they say it right on the poster. Great for kids. I know, yeah. and there's kids in it. Kids are in it. There's so, kids right. in it. It's so a, they see. It's, a, it's important to see yourself yeah, in art. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So like, you know, we watch it, and you know, I'm looking at her like, you know, when Pennywise comes out, I'm just watching the reaction, and she's just like, Why are they following that clown? <laughs> Why they fall on that balloon? <laughs> They're stupid. They're stupid. And I just love like sitting with her because you see like she has these commentaries during the movies. Yeah. And she says the like the realest stuff. Like it's just like, yeah, I feel you, kid. 
Well, that's great. As a father, it must be nice to hear her think the kids in It are stupid, right? Yeah. The worst thing is if she's like, well, you gotta follow the clown. You can't blame him. Well, my, my, buddy, my buddy Ivan was telling me, uh, he was like, well, she's a Chicago kid. She ain't no slouch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so I said, cool, man. I know she's not like a chump out here. So you're, uh, you're an Ohioan, and you actually got to go to the Super Bowl. You performed at the after party for yes, the Super Bowl. Yes, yes. And uh, you recently, I guess, got to know Joe Burrow a little bit. Yes. And, uh, you know, a oh. very, a very cool operator. Um, the, the, the man knows what he's doing. A very young man who's obviously incredibly accomplished already. And you reached out, and how did this work? You asked him for a jersey. Well, before the Chiefs game, um, I reached out to him and just told him good luck and, and sent him a song to kind of get him pumped up for the game. Um, and then, like, when this they This was won, one of your, a pre-existing song. You didn't, no, like, was, write him uh, a new no, song. Uh, no, I yeah. wrote him a song. <laughs> I wrote him a love song. I just like him in the locker room being like, okay, this is not what I... Yeah, yeah. And it was like, it was like, Joe, hello. <laughs> You need to know you got the glow, Joe. It's something like that. I mean, obviously, it yeah. worked. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> so they won the game because of my song. Yeah, you know? and then uh, obviously you forgot to do one for the Super Bowl. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot. <laughs> yeah. But but I will say that, like, I, I kind of, I got bold, and I was just like, man, I'm just going to go ahead and ask him for the jersey, man. Like, I, I think maybe he might want to keep it for himself, but let me just go ahead and ask. And... And he literally responded right away. He's like, I'm sending it tomorrow. And now this is a game-worn AFC Championship yeah. jersey. And let me tell you, it, like, it's got the right amount of grime on it. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's got blood stains on it. Yeah. It's real in the gridiron. Everything you know? everything about it is outstanding. Yeah. I, I really think that's a, that's a, a great thing, uh, a, a great piece of uh, sports memorabilia for you yeah. to have. Um, so this is very exciting. Uh, I, I think you're new friends uh, with our next guest, Quincy. Yes. Uh, and uh, she's coming out. She's got a fantastic show, Abbott Elementary. Yes, You're a fan does. of this show. Yes, yes, yes. You'd like to maybe even be on this show. Yeah, and, and that was something that um, I was kind of just throwing out with, with talking to Tyler about. And, and Tyler, one of the co-stars on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, uh, I'm a big fan of teachers. And, like, my mom was a teacher. She was a music teacher for 35 years. She was actually my music teacher. That's fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, uh... My mom uh, was a French teacher for about 30 years. She was my French teacher. Wow. And I hate to say it, but uh, based on your music career and my French career, I think your mom was the better teacher. <laughs> 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 well, you know what? This is, we, we, weren't, we didn't say we were going to talk about this, but I'm going to just put this out there. Yeah. So this is, my mom was my teacher in the seventh grade, right? And I was forced into her class because I knew when I went to her school, I was like, all right, I'm going to have to either be in her class or be in band. And I don't want to be in her class. So I have to learn how to play an instrument. So like I, I, I picked the trumpet because my older brother played the trumpet. And at that age, I was just like trying to do anything he was doing. I was trying to be like him. So I picked up the trumpet and then like I was feeling this class bad, right? So like the teacher goes up to, to my mom and he says, hey, your, your son's not doing too good in this class, you know? And, and maybe you might want to switch him out and put him in, in choir. So we switched me out and I got in choir. And like all year long, I'm just like in the back of the class trying not to get called on, you know. And my mom was always trying to give me solos and <laughs> So, sorry, I curse. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> uh, I'm so stressed out about that still to this day. Uh, <laughs> but um, report cards came, the end of the year came. And like, I'm thinking like, okay, my mom's gonna give me an A plus. You know, it's my, it's my mom, right? Um, and I get my report card and I got a B minus. <laughs> yeah. Like, my mom keeps it so real. She was like, you missed some homework. <laughs> I was like, you keep it so funky. Yeah. Like, I, I got to respect it. Well, yeah, absolutely. You set a bar high for your kids. <laughs> yeah. You got to do it. You yeah. got to do it. Uh, you're going to stick around. Uh, we're going to have you out here for uh, Quint as well. That's Kid Cudi, everybody. X, theaters this Friday. We'll be right back.